this is using arrows for more designer exercise so before you start this exercise make sure you have uh, the latest version of the meal burger catalog with this uh, excel excel file in the meals burger folder and then uh, this is the first exercise it is using add rules to add uh, exactor and then we need to copy this CTF file into your working folder you can right click and then select save target as save it into your working folder okay after that we go to file select unpack unpack this um, file then press control key on the keyboard and A together to select all and then unpack save it into your working folder the use folder path we change to without folder history and then select ok ok now we want to open the file uh, select it from the working folder select this, load this ELT file next we want to use uh, add ejector function to add news burger ejector pin so we go here and select this add ejector and then we select the E1710 ejector pin after that we select uh, this and then make sure the auto size selection is checked and then we change uh, the dimension 5 and then we select OK. Okay, now we change to top view and we place the ejector somewhere here. Okay, and here. After that, uh, we give it dimension. From here to here is 25. Is 35. Twenty-five, and the last one is thirty. Okay, this um when this uh, become purple color, it means it's fully defined. So we can press medium mouse button to exit from the dimension function, and then we can right click, select OK. Oh, now we change to right view so we can see that um, the different length of ejector pin this is because uh, we select uh, we check the auto size selection next we want to add other ejector uh, at the UCS origin there so we add the ejector okay we select Five, okay and then we click here so this message uh, come out this is because uh, no active face exists directly above the UCS origin so the size um, size row cannot be calculated and we cancel it okay now we add to Add again and then this time we select this 5 times 160 okay make sure this two is checked after that click OK <coughs> and then we place here and then we give the dimension And this two, this is twenty-five. This two, this is um, thirty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. After that, right click, select OK. 
and then we um, right click edit feature so you can see here have a, the red color and then we select ok next we delete this right click delete feature yes okay after that uh, we go to add ejector and we select this 5 times 200 and then make sure this tool is checked and after that click OK <clears throat> and this different component we toggle it to same component and we place it here ok give the dimension After that, we can right click, select OK. OK, and again, we delete the last operation. Right click, delete feature. Yes. <clears throat> and then we go to add uh, ejector. We select 5. Oh. Select. 5 times <clears throat> um, 5 times 40 after that click OK and replace it here and here and then we drag it we drag this sorry drag this to here and this one to here Okay, now the ejector have the length but not consistent with the locations. Okay, now we right click. Right click and then we select recalculate rules. So the size rule is recalculate according to the new position. After that, click OK.